obviously if you're in the context of a historically Protestant country like the United States, there can be a lot of skepticism about Catholic Mariology or Catholic attention to the Virgin Mary. But in the Catholic tradition, there's an old saying that the Virgin Mary is the scepter of orthodoxy. And that suggests that in a certain way, if we pay attention to the Virgin Mary, we'll get Christ right. And if we cease paying attention to the Virgin Mary, we might well get Christ wrong. That might be a bold statement, but it's also a potentially interesting line of inquiry. Think about where that statement came from. It has to do with the initial role that the Virgin Mary played in the thinking of the church at the Council of Ephesus in the fifth century when the church articulated the doctrine that the Virgin Mary is the mother of God. That little formula was very important for underlining that Christ is true God and true man. The person of Jesus is the person of the eternal word made man. So that seems like a rather important formula because it allows us to determine that Jesus is really our savior, unique in the world, unique in all of humanity because of his ontological status, his status of being. He's truly God and truly human. So paying attention to the Virgin Mary as the mother of God is also about paying attention to Christ. But what about the holiness of the Virgin Mary, her maternity of intercession, mother of the church, praying for us, first among the saints? That's also in its own way about Christ. It's about seeing the fruits of the grace of the passion. Christ has redeemed us, but the one redeemed most deeply and first is the Virgin Mary. Redeemed so deeply that she's receiving grace even in her conception and her predestination to be the mother of Christ. So there's a sense in which the Virgin Mary's grace, because it's all derived from Jesus, teaches us to see that Jesus is the source, the hearth, if you like, of all grace. Something simple, like paying attention to the Virgin Mary in the Mysteries of the Rosary, teaches us to pay attention to how Christ came into the world, how he died for our sins, that he's resurrected from the dead, that he's established the church. So as we learn to look on Jesus as the Virgin Mary looks on Jesus today in pray, praying the Rosary, we become better disciples of Christ, to Christ through Mary, you might say. Not so that she's a buffer between us and him, but actually, on the contrary, in going to her, learning a little bit about her, learning from her, we draw more immediately, not immediately, but immediately close to Christ. So the Virgin Mary helps us see Jesus more deeply, more realistically. When we see the effects of his grace in her, we can admire more greatly what he is. And when we acknowledge her as the mother of God, we're able to see more deeply who Jesus is as our Lord and Savior.